Hi, good morning and welcome back. Today let's learn about a locked up torque converter. What is a locked up torque converter and how exactly a locked up torque converter works. So before learning about a locked up torque converter, you should be knowing the basics of a torque converter. How exactly a torque converter works. If you don't know the working of a torque converter, please click the link over here, torque converter and go and see the video of the working of torque converter, learn it and come back and view this video. So here we will be talking only about a locked up torque converter, how the locking is happening and not about the exact working of a torque converter. So it's important to see that particular video before viewing this video. Okay. So uh, as you all know, torque converters are used in semi-automatic vehicles or automatic vehicles. Uh, torque converter has uh, a turbine, an impeller and a stator. And it's a fluid coupling, so it's like an egg or a closed unit. Inside we have an impeller, a turbine, and a stator. So uh, now let's uh, let's see about a small briefing about how a torque converter works exactly. So the torque converter is connected towards the flywheel of the engine. So here we have the flywheel over here, and uh, this is a torque converter casing. It's a closed unit. We have fluid inside, and on this side opposite towards the engine or the flywheel we have the impeller waves it's connected towards the torque converter casing itself so as we have the fluid inside as the torque converter rotates this fluid will be pushed towards the opposite side of the torque converter so on the opposite side we have the turbine which is floating inside the torque converter which is connected using an output shaft towards the gearbox so as this fluid comes and hit the turbine over here it will result the turbine to rotate and that rotation or that torque is taken away by the turbine through this output shaft towards the gearbox so that's how our transmission of the gearbox is getting the drive from the engine there is no mechanical bonding of the transmission of the torque that means the torque or the drive coming from the engine is not directly or mechanically linked so that it is going towards the gearbox instead the fluid which pushes the turbine actually is carrying the top. So here there is no mechanical bonding. As a result of that, slippage can happen. There will be impelling losses while the torque converter is working because the torque converter turbine will not be rotating exactly in the same speed of the engine because only the fluid force will result in its rotation. So there will be slippage, there will be impelling losses and there will be heat generation due to this losses. So a locked up torque converter is introduced to avoid these losses. So what it does is it makes a torque converter a mechanical linkage at a point of cruising speed or a very high speed. When we are going in a cruising speed, the torque converter becomes a mechanical linked unit or a mechanical linkage between the engine and the gearbox is happening through the torque converter. So let's see how it exactly happens. So here as I told, this is a casing which is shown in blue color. Okay. And towards the casing opposite side we have the impeller. The fluid comes and hits the turbine and rotates the turbine and that torque is taken away by the output shaft. That's why it slips. But at cruising speed, as shown in this green, there is a locked up clutch which is connected towards the casing over here. Okay, and this clutch comes in contact with this turbine. It locks with the turbine over here at this point, and the other side of uh, this clutch, the locked up clutch, is connected towards the casing. So that means the turbine will rotate in the casing speed. That means the turbine will rotate in the speed of the flywheel or the engine because the casing is directly connected towards the flywheel or towards the engine so that's how a lockup is happening or locked up torque converter uh, is working so that's the basics now let's go into detail how it happens so um, here i have drawn a cut section of it this is our output shaft over here so uh, here this is output shaft i have told uh, it's the lockup uh, control valve here we have lockup control valve which supplies the uh, oil or the fluid which is coming from the pump itself this is the crankshaft or uh, the flywheel is coming over here and we have uh, 
the clutch, the lockup clutch, which is shown in a blue. This is the lockup clutch over here, okay. And the stator, this is a stator. We have the turbine over here, and we have the pump impeller over here. So what happens is that at cruising speed or at very high speed, this lockup clutch moves towards the casing and locks up with the casing. Okay. So as it locks up with the casing, as I have shown here, as it locks up with the casing, the casing is a part connected towards the flywheel. So the casing is connected towards the flywheel, it is bolted towards the flywheel. So the turbine will rotate in the speed of the casing that will be in turn rotating in the speed of the flywheel so our output shaft will be having the same torque or the speed from coming from the engine so that will be carried away towards the gearbox and towards the rear wheels so that's how it becomes a mechanical bonding or a mechanical linkage is being created with this locked up clutch so uh, hydraulically it is being controlled by this locked up valve at a cruising speed this locked up valve a pressure difference has been created and it opens and it pumps the oil etc and this oil coming from here will pressurize uh, the locked up clutch over here to get in contact with the turbine with the turbine over here and with the casing on the other side to make a mechanical linkage exactly like how a clutch is working a direct connection from the engine towards the gearbox through the turbine through the turbine and the output shaft so that's how a locked up torque converter works i believe you like this video or you understand about how it exactly works if you like this video please click the like button or do drop a comment you can subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button on top of this uh, video and uh, you will get daily more technical updates uh, have a great learning. Best of luck.